So both of these, we're going to go and just box select the bottom two for all of these uh, for all of these comics here. And once we have selected the first keyframe and the and the second keyframe of our uh, of our second layer comics, which is our back layer, we can now oops, since we have a few mistakes right there, we can unhighlight those, make sure we don't have any duplicates like that right there. We don't want to bring the first couple comics with us, so we want to make sure the bottom the bottom keyframes are the only ones that are yellow, only ones that are yellow, only ones that, the ones that are yellow. All right, so that's good. So we can close down the. Oh, we have to move them first. We can go ahead and look at the the last keyframe for this. So we hit G on our keyboard, move these all out the way. And the last keyframe we need to put this on for this right here is frame 63. So we're going to hit G and move all of our comics until the first frame is frame 63. So now what we're going to do is. Uh, they need to come out before then so right there so we're gonna move these one hit G one two we're gonna move these one two three frames further than that yeah all right so that looks pretty good and uh, now since we have them behind uh, our our um our uh, our first set of comics we're not seeing them so we need to move this cube up a bit so now we need to move these comics up instead of having them all go first so now we have the back layer goes first all those play all those play all those play all those play and then the second layer plays with all of these same comics all right so now we have duplicate the time that we had before so now instead of two seconds it's somewhere around five ish seconds which is really nice um if you watch the marvel intro it is somewhere around i think it is uh, yeah, it's somewhere around nine-ish seconds that you can see comics. So we might even want to go ahead and duplicate this one more time. But like I said, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to do that the two times. So all in our intro is going to be a bit shorter, um, but that is good because YouTube intros need to be short anyway. <laughs> so, um, you like I said, you can go ahead and duplicate this one more time and get this to be bigger, especially with your you know your different comics. Like I said, you can go ahead and do the uh, other pieces like I mentioned earlier. But uh, for now, that's going to be that. So now what we need to do is we have our comics ready and set to go. So uh, these need a bit of motion blur. So if I render this the way it is right now, you shouldn't be able to see much because, once again, uh, we don't have uh, very many lights and we don't have any lights in the scene. Plus, we don't have any motion blur. So it looks just like a bunch of pieces of paper coming down with like little to no interest. Um, so how we're going to fix this is we're going to turn on motion blur right here in these settings. So now instead of that bland, clean, crisp image, we're going to get this uh, nice motion blur comics just like you see in the actual Marvel intro. So uh, what we're going to get now is we're going to get uh, 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 exactly what we needed. But the problem is, is we need to do the lighting before we can move on to the actual Marvel intro with the words. We need to go on and move on to the lighting. So first things first, we're going to we're hit shift a or go over here to create and add in a spot lamp. Um, hit RX 90 on my numpad. Um, and scroll this back to just behind the camera, I suppose. And um, what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, is we're gonna grab this this lamp and in in, uh, b -b -b in rendered mode. We're gonna take a look at this. This might get a bit of lag here, so uh, just bear with me for a second. Uh, we're going to turn in the world settings. We're gonna turn our our color to solid black, uh, so we can't see anything other than the comics with our lamp still selected. We're gonna scroll down the size to make it so you can only see a small portion of the uh of the stuff of the comics at the same time with that camera selected i'm actually going to turn on border and go into the camera's view and turn rendered mode back on um so you can see what i'm doing a bit better um so with the spot lamp selected we're going to turn the blend all the way up so now it's a very soft lamp and we're going to turn up the size so that we just have a bit of Lomo on the edges right there. And with our world settings, we won't turn this to solid black. We'll lighten that a bit and we'll turn it a, little bit, a bit red. We'll turn it a bit red so that we have that nice that nice Marvel red-ish color. We don't, go on, we don't want to go solid red. So just like a nice little red tint on the edges there. Maybe a bit darker. Um, something, like, something like that. Just a small red tint for the edges. Um, and with that, uh, the, with the lamp, the spot lamp still selected, I'm going to duplicate that lamp, and I'm going to turn the size down. Um, and if you can't tell, I'm going to turn the brightness up so you can see exactly where this is a little bit. So I'm going to turn that brightness up way, way more than this than the other one was. And we're going to turn up the size, and we're going to once again duplicate this one more time. We're going to turn down the size. So now we have a very, very harsh lumbo going on here. 
And with this small one, I'm going to make the color a bit more reddish. And with the other lamps as well, I'm going to do the same thing. So with all three of our spot lamps, we're going to make the color just a bit more red than white. Um, so with the first spot lamp, we're going to make it a bit more red. So with the first big spot lamp, um, we're going to turn that one almost solid red. Almost solid red. And we're going to darken it just a little bit. And with the second spot lamp, we're going to turn it a little bit, little bit more red than that. And we're going to grab a bit more red for this one as well. So that looks pretty good. We have that nice red tone to the intro as well. Um, and what I want to do now is instead of going ahead and adding the, the words on top of the uh, text in this scene, we can't really do that since we need it to fade in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this really quickly. That's a nice practice. So we're going to go Marvel Intro Tutorial. Uh, tutorial with an L tutorial and I'm gonna save that right there um, and I'm gonna create a new scene up here up here in the scenes we never really get into them all that much but what we're gonna do is I'm gonna type in pages this is gonna be pages because this is our main scene actually no I'll, I'll just type in main we'll type in main there um, and then we'll hit this plus and this plus will create a new scene and the new scene we're gonna do is we're going to hit one on an unpad five on an unpad and hit shift a and add in another camera since we need a camera now hit five to go out of, out of orthographic mode on a numpad so we're gonna drag that back to about right there right behind the grid like always and we're gonna add in some text so shift a or go over here to create and add in some text rx90 on my keyboard hit enter to confirm that selection um, and this is not center by the way so if you want to zoom in uh, more than what you can you can hit period on your numpad to zoom in closer to the text by the way that's a little tip um, so what we're going to do is down in our text uh, edit options over on the right here. I'm going to close this for the time being. Over on our edit options, we're going to change the horizontal alignment to center. So we have that in the center now. And we're going to change the uh, vertical alignment to center. But that doesn't do very well. So we're going to turn that back to top baseline and turn the offset. We're going to put the offset down. Um, but first things first, we're going to hit tab on our keyboard, delete the word text, and we're going to type in Marvel. Uh, boom, 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 and with this little uh, with this little folder icon with the font, I'm gonna hit that, and we're going to grab one of our fonts. I'm gonna be using Impact because it's very close to the Marvel style font. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna grab that. I'll leave a link down in the description where you can get Impact. Um, so that's that. We're gonna hit Open Font. And now we have our font there. Boom. So if I go into the camera's view with zero, you can be able to see that the line needs to be in the direct center of the word Marvel. So how we're going to fix this is by uh, first things first, I'm going to scale this up because it's not not big enough. So I'm going to scale it up to about right there. Take a look at the actual Marvel intro. Um, that looks about the same size, I suppose, right? Eh, something like that. And we're going to hit S uh, on a keyboard to scale, of course, and then X S Z to scale up so because the uh, the, the letters are usually uh, pretty tall for the word Marvel and then you'd be a bit space closer space together so in our spacing with our letters we'll turn this down Ooh, not that far we'll go like uh, 0.95 uh, maybe 0 0.96 0 0.96 no other way 0.94 yeah 0.94 looks pretty good and we'll scale this on the X axis to make them a bit thicker and because we did do that, we had to do 0.93 to make them a bit closer. Eh, 0.94 was fine. We'll leave it at 0.94 for the letter spacing, and that should be that. Now we need to mess with the offset here because this is not in the center still. So we're going to go like 0.25, 0.25, negative 0.25, rather, and that looks pretty good. So negative 0.25 looks like the right way to go for the center of the Marvel words. Um, we're going to make our start frame the zero frame, so we have the same frame of reference as the first scene. We're going to call this um, words, the scene up here. We're going to call that words. Um, and what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to actually pretty much do nothing else. We don't have anything else to do right now. What I want to do is I want to I grab our third scene. We're going to have three scenes in this uh, tutorial. We're going to hit this plus button one more time, hit new. And once again, we're going to add in another camera. So shift A, camera, and we're going to scale this one back behind the grid as well. Shift A, mesh, plane. Um, then what we're going to do is hit zero on my, uh, my numpad to go into the camera's view. RX, 90 on my keyboard. And right click to left click to confirm the selection. S, X on my keyboard to scale us on the X, X axis. And S, Z on my keyboard to scale us on the uh, Z axis. And we're going to make that just beyond the camera's bounds. 